in the chest region, we have our pectoralis tenuis, pectoralis major and minor complex. In some animals, these are pretty distinct. In rabbits, they appear to be fused, sort of one on top of the other, and they're pretty hard to separate. Um, so to avoid ripping up your pectorals and making a mess of things, uh, you can leave them fused, that is fine. So pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, fused under, underneath. We can still see our latissimus dorsi, covering the side and arching around the back. If you flip up those pectoral muscles, you can see a thin longitudinal muscle. That's our rectus thoracis. And these radiating muscles here are serratus ventralis. You also have a serratus dorsalis, but we are not looking at that on the rabbit. Cranial to the serratus ventralis, you can see a muscle connecting the dorsal or vertebral border of the scapula with, it's kind of disappearing around the back, but it's connecting to the thoracic vertebrae, uh, the upper thoracic vertebrae. Those are the rhomboids. So rhomboid major, rhomboid minor, collectively referred to as the rhomboidius group. There are other longitudinal fibers cranial to the serratus ventralis. Those are heading from the ribs up to the cervical vertebrae. That is the scalenus dorsalis. And then you can still see the underside of the scapula, looking under here, beyond our serratus ventralis and rhomboids. Push those aside. We can see our subscapularis and teres major. Remember teres major covering that whole bottom half of the scapula, that whole caudal border or axillary border and then covering the rest of that scapular surface, subscapular surface, is your subscapularis.